Hi everybody, in this 15th episode of the do-it-yourself inspection series, we're gonna talk about EFS panels and how you can inspect your EFS and do simple repairs on it. EFS stands for Exterior Insulated Finish System. It's essentially styrofoam with a layer of stucco finish over the top of it. And it looks like stucco, but it's an insulating layer, it's fast to apply, and it, and it gives you energy efficiency. When you're walking around your building, you also just want to look for damage. You can see the, the chunk taken out of the eaves. So think styrofoam, because guess what? That's what it is, it's styrofoam. So that's what's used to create these pieces of trim. So this is a stucco wall, meaning concrete or, yeah, a stucco, going all the way up, and then they put trim pieces on it and then cover it with a, with a mesh and then put a waterproof coating over it. And so this is likely just damage from playground equipment, but we need to seal that up and keep things weather tight, repair it. But again, that would be something that you'd add to your, add to your maintenance list. Make sure, it's, make sure you do these fixes. Here's some more of these brown stucco stains, indication of steel lath that's coming through or placed a little too close to the edge of the stucco system, but pressure wash and coat this or paint it and that'll go away. This is kind of fun. The little white dots that you see on the, that's likely an EFS panel. So those little white dots are your fasteners of the foam. And so when it's cold on one side, there was frost on this roof an hour ago, you'll see the, the thermal transfer is different between the head of the washer or screw that's holding the holding the foam panel on. So you can see these nice little lines and you can see all that. Now, if, to get rid of that, you'd clean that panel, you'd clean it and paint it or clean it and coat it and you wouldn't see that. So we've, we've wrapped up our investigation. We've seen lots of little cracks and broken things and just typ typical age type stuff that'll end up on a maintenance plan and so then the maintenance plan gets turned over to the facilities group. Now that might be an owner, might be a board, it might be a facilities committee if it's a, if it's a bigger thing. It might just be the building engineer of a commercial building. And so the maintenance plan is then broken up into, into kind of priorities of year one, year three, year five, year seven. You know, what do we need to do? How do we, how do we fix it? it? Turns into a capital plan or a reserve study. So that's where the owner starts saving money to these things. They don't necessarily have to run out and fix the cracks in the stucco this year. Maybe they save for it for a year or three and then, then do, that, do that project in a, in a systematic way. So the maintenance plan turns into a maintenance budget, budget and to-do list. So that's, that's helpful to take care of your buildings. So a little bit more of an outtake on what EFS is. So E-I-F-S, some people improperly pronounce it as EFIS but it's EIFS, Exterior Insulated Finished System. It is styrofoam with a stucco coating over the top of it. And so we'll see entire walls of it used as an exterior insulation system on the exterior of your building. They add styrofoam to act as energy efficiency and act as insulation. And then they coat it with a stucco or some type of color coating, elastomeric coating, or some type. It looks, it looks like stucco until you push on it and it has some resistance to it. Another place you'll commonly see it is EFS, what's called coins, EFS trim. So it'll be the trim instead of wood. So you'll have a stucco base with foam stuck to it to give you that profile. You can, you can cut an angle on it, you can shape it, you can, you can do all sorts of things and then properly coat it with the same stucco system or same color coating system. So it's actually a really nice product. It got a bad rap in the mid 90s for leaking and now we've, now we've figured out a way to make it a drainable EFS system. So it's allowed to let water in, drain back out, just like all these head flashings to allow water to come in and out of the building and keep the water out, not let it get stuck inside. So older EFS buildings are, you'd, you'd call it perimeter sealed. So they're sealed with sealant. When that sealant fails, the water gets in behind, causes problems. That's what we saw in the mid 90s. And uh, these days it's a drainable leaf system, actually works really well. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube for more helpful tips and tricks for condominiums and commercial buildings. And be sure to click that bell icon to be notified every time we put out additional educational content. 
Thanks for watching.